Ladies and gentlemen, I'm trying to force myself in a good mood. Let's hope it works. As we know, almost all the planets are on the same side of the sun. If the sun were a pizza, all the planets would be on one half of the slices. So there is no balance in our solar system right now. In about a week, Mercury will be coming around because he's a speedy little planet. And so we will have all planets on the same side of the sun, leading to maximum imbalance. And as I've said, uh, June is going to be pretty rough up until about the 23rd, peaking around the 19th, 20th, 21st. But we are seeing signs of life from the sun and from solar cycle 25. This weekend, the biggest sunspot of new solar cycle 25 so far, AR2765, is turning towards Earth. And so that is good news because empires rise and fall during solar maximums and solar minimums we have been in a deep solar minimum and i think that's you know the plague came from that and we're dealing with it together totally divided we know ar2567 is a member of solar cycle 25 because it's magnetic polarity according to all hale's law sunspots would switch polarities from one solar cycle to the next southern sunspots from the old solar cycle 24 have a negative positive polarity and this sunspot is the opposite well it will be positive over the negative <clears throat> the primary dirt core of ar2765 is about as wide as earth baby with the two satellite sunspots closer in size to the moon a frothy wake of magnetic turbulence stretches 70,000 miles between the trio the little behind the trio these dimensions make the sunspot group an easy target for backyard solar telescopes and if it's smoky or hazy or foggy outside you can see it sometimes through the fog i have found the sun is still in the pits of a century class solar minimum but it ain't grand it's just real deep the appearance of ar 2765 suggests that it won't last forever yeah baby i think by 2022 we'll be in the roaring 20s but the next year and a half could be very challenging for all people, as we are caught in a class war that everybody thinks is a political war or a race war or a gender war, it's actually a class war, dude. It, it's the super richest against everybody else. And another good sign, we have a mysterious twin rainbow. Scientists have been studying rainbows for a couple hundred years, or forever really, since they showed up, I guess. Since the 17th century, when Sir Isaac Newton first explained the colorful arcs, yet after all these years, there's one rainbow scientists do not fully understand, the twinned rainbow. And so that's exciting. There are still many mysteries to life, although everyone on Twitter knows everything. And so, and it says you can even see hail in the picture. It's just hail everywhere. All right, now on to the big news. Dr. Tamitha Scove, who is really cool and a sun scientist, who has a YouTube channel, uh, another B-class flare like this from region 2765 today, which means it may have Earth-facing components. New flux emergence may be driving activity. Not sure if it's this sunspot is going to be a big flare player, but it definitely has my attention. Solar flux is increasing, so expect better radio propagation, but also more noise on the bands. What we need is more rock and roll bands on Earth. Hopefully they will show up by December 21st, 2020. Halo CME, the recent B-35 flare was brightening and the lower part of a jet ejected southward. It started in the penumbra of the spot in AR-12765 and it happened about the time we had a penumbral uh, lunar eclipse yesterday in the Sagittarius Strawberry Moon, which was great energy at the time. Um, but then today, the energy is taking a dive. This AIA-171A movie shows the jet pushed aside the adjacent corona, leaving large volume to oscillate. And so, you know, these signs in the heavens remind us that it isn't always going to be horrible. It isn't always going to be conflict. It isn't always going to be divide and conquer. But I got to tell you guys, I don't know, Astrology note, yes, this is astronomy and astrology. 
that the next week and two is going to be heavy Mars energy, which means divide and conquer, war, conflict, and then heavy Neptune energy, which is like deception, self-deception. Um, and so, you know, you really can't trust almost anything coming out of anywhere. I know 2020 is frustrating, baby, but it won't last forever. And if you find yourself in hell, keep going. And like Venus is retrograde and invisible, meaning we can't see it. And so hopefully things will pick up around, is it 24th or 25th when Venus stops going retrograde and gets back into the sky? And then you got Pluto retrograde, you got Jupiter retrograde, you got Saturn retrograde. Mercury's going retrograde on the 17th of June. And June's going to be uh, a month where you got to work hard to have fun, man. So we got iridescent clouds and we got weed. Eclipse, castle, and red weed. Let's check that out. Hopefully this won't get you high. Unless you want to be high. Ooh, beautiful. And the moon, the moon, the moon was beautiful last night. You had strawberry and peach colors. Please don't forget December 21st, 2020. Exactly eight years after the mind thingy, Jupiter and Saturn will be totally on top of each other from our vantage point. So, you know, it's going to be a wild year where everything changes, but this is what we've trained for our whole lives, right? Better days will return. I keep getting people saying to me, what if this is hell or this is hell? And I'm like, no, because I still have fun. Um... And, you know, life has ups and downs. Civilizations have ups and downs. And that no matter what, we've continued to keep moving society forward. Although a lot of times we take, you know, it's, we take some steps backwards or we retrograde. But civilization has continued forward for thousands of years. So I expect it to continue that way. And I think I do think it'll help when the sun starts to wake up and we get more love and light pouring into our lives. So that's pretty exciting, you know. Remember, the last time we were hitting the deep solar minimum point, we had the 2008-2009 crisis where it looked like the whole world was ending. And we made it out of that, although we made a lot of mistakes during that seven-year Scorpio cycle. But that's what astrology predicted pretty much. And so now we are entering into the age of Aquarius. It's the age of Aquarius. And just a pleasant reminder in my 7.5 years here at Thor News, bringing you guys the news, I have maintained that the sun is weird and that there's no expert on the sun. No matter what anybody tries to tell you, and nobody really knows what the sun is going to do next. Although a lot of people like to say that they do, they don't. Is there a little flash there at the end? Right before it changes, right there. There's a weird poppy thingy. And then look at that filament. That Look how uh, that stretches up way high. Yeah, so activity is definitely picking up um, in the sun. So that is good news. But I get everybody mentally prepared for the next year and a half to be a uphill struggle. But better days are ahead. When will we see our first X-Class flare? My guess has been July. Although I wouldn't mind being pleasantly surprised. I mean, who gets mad when they get pleasantly surprised? I think that's a oxymoron. And we have enough morons in this world. You know what I'm saying? All right. I almost made myself laugh. That was kind of a forced laugh. Man, isn't 2020 quite a roller coaster? And... In the future, I thought the internets would be faster. Maybe not. Yeah, so, and I don't, okay, this probably won't have a big earth-facing component, whatever type of CME we got. Um, but we'll keep watching as it turns to face Earth. All right, so the sun is slowly waking up. So that is exciting. And hopefully that will offer you a little bit of a hope, love, and light in these trying and challenging times. I think that's planet Venus. And so we can see the it eject 
See that? Uh, so it wasn't a, a big one, but it is signs that the sun is waking up. So yeehaw, a little bit of good news amongst all the madness. Please try and stay cool. June is going to be a pretty rough month of conflict. Try and rise above it if you can. And know that deception is heavy. And most of it is being used for profit, power, or control. So stay cool. And through it all, I love you. God bless everyone.